Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the temperature dropped rapidly overnight, starting at 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature dropped at 4 degrees per hour. Write an expression for the temperature T in degrees as a function of number of hours H. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, any linear expression is of the form y is equal to mx plus b. Now, this result we will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we are given verbal description of the function. We are given initially the temperature was 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Then it started decreasing at the rate of 4 degrees per hour. And here we have to write a linear expression for temperature and number of hours. And here temperature is denoted by the variable T and number of hours are denoted by the variable H. Now as temperature is decreasing with hours so temperature depends on hours thus temperature T is dependent variable and number of hours that are denoted by the variable H represent independent variable. Now change in temperature is 4 degrees per hour. So for h number of hours the temperature is decreased by 4 degrees Fahrenheit from 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Now from the key idea we know that any linear expression is of the form y is equal to mx plus b where y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable. Now here as t is dependent variable and h is the independent variable and for h number of hours, the temperature T is decreased by 4 degrees Fahrenheit from 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So, required linear expression is T is equal to 85 minus 4H. Now here we are putting a minus sign because temperature is decreased from 85 degrees Fahrenheit or we can write it as T is equal to minus 4H plus 85. 
where T represents the temperature and H represents the elapsed time. So, this is the required linear expression for the temperature T in degrees as a function of number of hours H. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.